Bonjour. I'm pretty stoked on this tutorial today because I'm finally getting to use my favorite MAC eyeshadow and it's in the color Club. This is gorgeous. Like it's the prettiest brown opalescent sort of minty blue shade. It reminds me of a mermaid's tail or like fish scales. So I'm super pumped for you to see how it looks on the eyelids. Here's a little peek. It's absolutely stunning. So if you'd like to see how to achieve this super cool smoky eye using Club by MAC, then please keep on watching. So I'm gonna start out by filling in my eyebrows and I'm using the Essence Cosmetics Eyebrow Kit and I'm using this flat top brush which I got from the art store and by the way I'm working really hard on my brush video so you'll see all of the brushes that I'm using in these videos very very soon. I'm also gonna warn you that it's gonna be a big one. Anyways I'm filling in my eyebrows as I normally do and the reason why I'm using a flat brush like this is because I find that it packs on the color really really well specifically at the front of my eyebrow and I get really nice sharp lines that look like actual hair bristles so once I'm done filling those in I'm gonna take a clean spoolie which is basically like a clean mascara wand and I'm gonna run it through my eyebrows and take out any excess color that I have in them taking my Mac studio finish concealer and NW25 I'm just gonna clean up around the eyebrow to make them look a little bit more sharp and get any eyeshadow that isn't in the right place and I'm applying this with a concealer brush and then I'm gonna take the lash and brow gel by Essence Cosmetics and I'm just gonna set my eyebrows in place Onto the eyes, I'm going to start by priming my eyelid with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. You can drag this all the way up your lid up to the brow bone. And I'm just blending this in with my finger. And now taking the beautiful Club by MAC and a flat brush, I'm going to start packing this color onto the first half of my eyelid, all the way up to my crease. And I'm going to pack this on really heavy because I want the color to really, really show up. So as you can see, I'm just doing back and forth motions and creating sort of an oval shape all the way into my crease. And the reason why I use a flat brush is because it picks up and packs on the color really well. The product doesn't get lost in the bristles and there's very minimal fallout. Whereas with a fluffy brush, the eyeshadow kind of goes inside those bristles. You don't know where it goes, it flies everywhere. So when you want a color to really show up, use a flat brush. Then taking a fluffy brush, I'm gonna blend out those harsh edges. Taking that same fluffy crease brush and cork, I'm going to apply it just above club, kind of into the edges of club and upwards towards my brow bone. Then taking my flat brush and club again, I'm just going to pack on another layer of it just in case my blending took away from the pigmentation. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of Mylar and I'm gonna apply it all over my brow bone and sort of clean up around the eye with it. And I'm gonna show you a little trick that I do. Sometimes I take the Dream Lumi Concealer by Maybelline and I clean up the actual shape of my smoky eye with it. So what I'll do is drag a little bit in a straight line around the edge of my outer corner. And this is gonna create like a really clean, sharp look. And then I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of Mylar. But the whole point of this is to just kind of clean up and give that outer edge a really nice shape. Some people like to use the tape method where they place tape on the outer edges of their eye and then do their eyeshadow. I prefer this. Now I'm going to take a small shader brush and my Broken Carbon by MAC and I'm going to pack it onto my top lash line. This is going to substitute for my regular gel winged eyeliner. I just want to smoke out my lash line a little bit. Then I'm going to take that remainder of the carbon that I have on my brush and I'm going to run it along my bottom lash line. Then taking a clean shader brush, I'm going to it in club and I'm gonna go over my bottom lash line right where I applied carbon using this Revlon luxurious color smoky crayon in black smoke I'm going to line my waterline taking a clean shader brush and nylon by Mac I'm gonna apply it to my tear ducts and this is gonna open up my eye as usual I'm skipping past false lashes today because I feel like I use them in every single tutorial so I'm just gonna curl my lashes with a Revlon eyelash curler and then I'm gonna apply a layer of telescopic mascara by L'Oreal in carbon black then I realize I want a little bit of a darker look so I'm gonna take that same Revlon crayon and I'm going to line my tight line and I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that tight lining is Satan I absolutely hate it so if you don't like doing it then skip past this but it does make your lash line look a little bit darker and fuller then I'm gonna do a second layer of mascara and I'm using the false fiber lashes by L'Oreal for contour today I'm gonna to be using a blush by NARS in madly and this is a really light nude shade. I'm doing a very light contour. 
And then for blush, I'm gonna use an e.l.f. Cosmetics Studio Blush in Fuchsia Fusion. And this is a really pretty sparkly pink, so I'm gonna apply that to my cheekbones and the apples of my cheeks. And then for lip color, I'm gonna use a Revlon Lip Butter in Gumdrop, and this is a really pretty pale lilac shade. So I'm gonna smother my lips with it. And to finish off the look, I'm gonna layer that with the new Milani Color Statement Lipstick in Nude Cream, which is absolutely gorgeous. So that wraps it up. I hope that you enjoyed this look. I hope you've fallen in love with Club as much as I'm in love with Club. I think all of these shades really complement one another, so let me know if you end up using this look. Okay, can we please talk about how pretty this eyeshadow color is? Oh my god. All of the products that I use will be listed in the description box and on my website with this video. As always, thank you very much for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!